look it up. Yeah. Like, um, what is what is affection? Uh, okay, we see affection. Okay, gentle feeling of fondness or liking, right? Mm-hmm. So they have an example. She felt affection for the wise old lady, and they have similar, um, like synonyms or whatever. They have liking, endearment, warmness, devotion, care, caring. Um, what is this? Attentiveness. Mm-hmm. The, I fall in that category right there. Intimacy, oh, yeah. <laughs> friend, friendship. Come on now. We even, <laughs> no, we even, not we even have, me. We even have a. Come on, man. We haven't you done probably, it in a while. You know what I'm saying? Like, you forgot the. See, you didn't like, even finish. What is it? There's boom. There we go. Boom. 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 <laughs> bro, come on. That's come on, bro. Okay, we have favor. I do a lot of favor, bro. Like, massage my feet. Um, <laughs> you don't mean massage my feet. Friendly, friendliness. <laughs> Super All the friendly. Time. Attachment. That's Goku and you. <laughs> um, what is this? What else? It's it's all of the above. Yeah, so so so, so I fall in I fall in some of the categories. You fall in some of the okay. categories too. Respect. You remember I said that respect. Mm-hmm. Right? A father and a, and a son dynamic. Respect. Mm-hmm. You know, showing your son how to respect others, to respect you, respect your mom, respect, you know. Mm-hmm. So that's all part of being affection. So like, come on now. So it's just culturally it come with, you know. It come differently. Okay. Right? Do so. you feel like it's important for one to learn um, the affection language, I guess, or love other? language of the other and give that love language to the other as much as yeah. you can, you know. You should implement it. Yeah. The way of how you show affection. And then the other, your significant other should also understand that you know, the way you show affection is different sometimes. Mm-hmm. So you should also be uh, attentive, which is one of them, right? <laughs> you should be paying attention to that too. Yeah. You know, it's like you guys kind of like balance each other out. Yep. You know? It's do like, you do you feel like there's room for more of the, you said 40, 60? Yeah. So then, so then that means at 60, there's room for like... Hell no. <laughs> growth. No, that's growth. It was, it was, it was 90, 10. That's a lot of growth. No, that's not saying that's not a lot. Yeah. Yeah, that's I'm, like that's I'm a lot. That is a lot. I'm 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 saying do you feel like there's room? I mean, there's a lifetime to come. So No, no you trying to make me solve that ain't one happening. is important to I've been with Goku for seven years. Come on. Grow. Now. No, I think it's perfect where it's at. Like, you know, I think um you know there's a room to like for you to grow. Like In which way? When I'm watching my games, you leave me alone. And when I don't want to talk or when I'm watching my show, I gotta pause every five minutes because you're saying something. I don't care. <laughs> I really don't care. But, like, yeah. So, like, you know, you feel me? It's like, we're just different. We're different species, bro. Like, you know? I think that's room to grow. Because what if I'm saying is is important? And then I stop and listen. Because I just said I have to stop every five minutes to listen. So, there you go. You need, you're no, not listening. No, but you said I don't care. Yeah, I say, like, I'm saying I don't care. Right? Because meaning mm-hmm. some of the conversation are nonsensical topic. Mm-hmm. And then I don't care. But I'm saying, if it's like, hey, yo, you got to run this number. All right. Come on now. Mm-hmm. It's not the same, but I don't want to hear about. Oh my God, you seen my eyebrows? Like I got my. I, I don't, don't. Uh, ladies, your significant other should notice your eyebrows when you get it done. Thank you. Nope, I, I can't tell the difference. It seemed like it looked. Whenever you come out the the shop and I pick you up, it looked like you put some Vaseline on your eyebrows <laughs> and, it, and they're just shining. Like I'm like. So you it's just. I'm not. I could have done that. I could have put Vaseline on your eye. Just kind of rub it. It's a little not bit all. And. That's what they do. No, it's not. There's a lot more that happens. Come on now. But, yeah, so overall, the whole, you know, premise of this conversation is to make people understand that affection is not just one way. And we should just kind of double down and just kind of do some deep research and see what to understand what affection is. And Mm -hmm. not to conflate one culture with the other culture because you grew up in both culture. Mm -hmm. And it's merged. So sometimes you lean to because I would say that like being being multicultural right Mm -hmm. because of the diversity of you know your your experience right Mm -hmm. you tend to like either lean on one side when it's when it makes sense and then you lean on the other side when it makes sense when we talk about absolutely affection uh, in terms of like how this culture show affection, kiss and hugs. You say, "Oh, that's affection. This is not affection." And then something in this culture doesn't r- really align with this other culture. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, 
like they're cra- yeah, it's they crazy. Yeah, like all African Americans, they don't get it. Blah blah blah. This the boom boom. And then you go more search the African side. So whenever Africans do something that you don't agree with, like yeah, see the Americans they do this. So we 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 tend to like like you know go both ways. You know, one minute the pendulum swing this way, one minute swing the other way. So it's like try to find a balance and stay in the middle. Understand one side, and understand the other, and don't conflate the two. And then try to make you know call that yo. That's not affection. Don't make don't combine two culture. And then expect that to be everything. If that yeah, makes sense. I think the way yeah the way that I think about it is under yeah understand yeah. both of them and understand when people are behaving in each in 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 one or the other mm-hmm. their reasoning for it because of understanding that you know that that culture specifically. Mm-hmm. However, the beauty of and and you know the curse or whatever the case may be you want to call it of mm-hmm. being a multicultural person or being multicultural. Mm-hmm. Is and and this also even means like people who come from different socioeconomic backgrounds, right? Correct. Someone who came from one ex- socioeconomic background and then mm-hmm. worked hard and ended up being, you know, at the top at at a completely different socioeconomic background. It's there's still a gap that needs to be bridged from something, you know, that the people of where you came from understood in the way of being in that culture and that community versus where you, the current state that you're at mm. so i think it's important in that case too and the beauty of it is you are both right yep. you are both so sometimes you're one and uh when it comes to certain topics sometimes you're another when it comes to a different topic yep. and that's honestly okay but what's important is understanding yep. the other side understanding where the other side comes from and and that's where i think you said standing in the middle yeah. to me i don't i i think it's fine to sway each way based on what the topic is because that's what makes every, you know you th- that multicultural experience dynamic however understand the other side and where they come yeah. from because of the underlining like depths of that culture and that community. So when I say stay, stand in between, I get what you're saying. When I say standing yeah. in, in between, like for balance, what I'm saying pretty much is like, I can observe something from this culture and from that culture and apply it to my daily life. Yep. Yeah, pretty much that's what it is, man. So um, we, we just learned something new today. I guess I hope you guys took something from this. Um, cause, what, what did we learn new? Well, I learned that, um, you know, affection... I thought that I was affectionate, but I realized that I was the whole time. <laughs> it was just it's different. That's strategy, what you learn. Different strokes for different folks, yeah. right? Strategy yep. and understanding what works for who, and it all depends on your culture. Don't try to submit yourself to something that you're not. Be yourself and try to adapt. You know. So that that's all I I got to say. Yep. Agreed. Makes sense. Make sure you guys tune in to the audios as well make sure you listen to the podcasts on apple Podcasts as well as spotify um and yeah make sure you tune into those streams because those numbers count if you like the episodes make sure you leave us a five star on those platforms as well yep and you know we'll see you guys next time mindset never fail to surprise you guys we out Bye. bye